Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Benson. And this is five potential hazards for chinchillas in your household. Coming in strong in number five, wires. Now, chinchillas seem to really gravitate towards wires and like all rodents, they will chew on them. And if your chinchilla chews on a live wire, kaboom your chinchilla is a goner basically they will get electrocuted so if you have wires where you let your chinchilla out make sure they're covered in some way or if you can't cover them you have to monitor your chinchilla extremely closely to make sure they are not chewing on wires number four open windows now you might think to yourself you know how's my chinchilla going to get on top of this windowsill they can jump really quite far if they want to and people forget how high they can actually jump and if you have a window open even if it's slightly open a chinchilla can actually squeeze through extremely small openings so if you have a window open, just be aware that your chinchilla probably can get up to the windowsill. And if they can get up to the windowsill, they can get out of that window. So yeah, keep your windows and your doors closed when you have your chinchilla out for playtime. Number three. I can't remember what number three is. Number three, open water. Now what I mean by this is sinks with water in them or an open toilet, so a toilet with the seat left up. If you have your chinchilla playing in your bathroom, which is quite common, please make sure that your toilet seat is down. The amount of stories I've heard over the years of chinchillas jumping into toilets or jumping into sinks with water filled with them. And although water will not kill your chinchilla if you dry them out properly afterwards, it can be extremely stressful for the chinchilla if you get them wet because you have to dry them properly, which means spending quite a long time under a hairdryer and it's very stressful for them. So it's better probably to avoid it altogether. And the way to avoid it is to have your toilet seats down and make sure that if you have a sink that it's not got water in it because chinchillas will find themselves in all kinds of situations. Number two, now chinchillas are much like toddlers. You really have to be careful of what you have out with them. So things that are toxic for chinchillas need to be kept in a cupboard or somewhere where your chinchilla cannot get to them. Things like cleaning products, bleach, Tide Pods, all that kind of stuff needs to be kept far away from your chinchilla, just like they would be if it was a child. So really you've got to be quite careful. So you might have on your counter some cleaning products. You know, you need to keep them far away from your chinchilla really. Now, some honorable mentions. Chinchillas and other pets. So things like cats and dogs. Although you know your pets best, so you know if your pet is going to attack another chinchilla or not. Um, I always err on the side of caution when introducing chinchillas to other animals. Because cats particularly can be quite unpredictable and so can dogs sometimes, so you really have to be careful. Obviously, as I say, you know your pets best, you need to make that decision, but I will, personally I would avoid interaction between chinchillas and other pets. Okay, another honourable mention, chinchillas and young children. It's really important to monitor young children when interacting with chinchillas because chinchillas are quite fragile and with the best will in the world, some ch children can be overzealous and can be quite um, full on with a chinchilla and it can cause them to get injured. So just be careful around chinchillas and children. Hello, it's Editing Alley here. Now my husband has got a little bit upset because I didn't include two things that he thinks should be included in this video. So I thought I'd do a little voiceover so that I inc could include them now. So the first one 
is candles. Now we all know that lit candles are dangerous for any animal, including humans. So please don't let your chinchillas around a lit candle. However, I think he was more talking about the fumes that candles can emit. So let's talk about that. Now, with certain animals, you have to be extremely, extremely careful with candles. For example, with birds, you can't have candles anywhere near birds at all because the fumes that emit from candles can actually kill a bird quite easily. So you just don't have candles at all. Now, with chinchillas, are they going to die from the fumes emitted by candles? No, they're not. A chinchilla breathing in fumes from a candle is going to affect their health so it's best to just keep candles away from chinchillas so if you're going to have candles in your house just don't light them in the same room or in the same vicinity as your chinchillas just be sensible about it basically and the same is true for my next thing that I'm going to mention which is air fresheners especially those plug-in air fresheners they're not particularly good for chinchillas when chinchillas inhale these it can affect their respiratory system so it's probably best to keep air fresheners away from chinchillas that being said it probably won't kill them but it's just long term not a good thing to have around them plus they do not really like the strong smells emitted from air fresheners so yeah best keep air fresheners and scented candles and candles in general away from your chinchillas right okay getting on to number one number one is nooks and crannies now i don't know is that a british saying what i mean by nooks and crannies is gaps and holes in your household so for example i have heard stories in the past of chinchillas actually getting under floorboards because there's been a gap between the floorboards and the wall and they have got down there and escaped or broken open vents the chinchillas have managed to squeeze through Chinchillas can squeeze through small, small spaces. So what you think a chinchilla can't squeeze through, they probably can because they're mostly just fur and fluff. Behind that fur and fluff, their bodies are actually quite small. So you've got to be really, really careful with nooks and crannies, making sure that if there's anywhere in your house where you think, if my chinchilla got behind there or if my chinchilla got under there, I cannot get them out, then you need to block it. Now this includes things like gaps between floorboards and walls, gaps in windows, gaps in vents, behind things that you can't actually move. So for example, we have a load of display cabinets that are glass that are quite difficult to move. If my chinchilla got behind one of those, eh, it could be interesting. And um, things like chimneys. Now I'm guilty of this. My first ever chinchilla actually nearly went up the chimney and got stuck up there. Luckily, I managed to get him out before he went all the way up. But that is extremely dangerous for your chinchilla. So before you get your chinchilla out for playtime, it's best to check. And just to make sure, is there anywhere in this room I wouldn't want my chinchilla to be? Is there anywhere where if they got behind it or got under it or got into it, you wouldn't be able to retrieve your chinchilla? If that's the case, block it off. Make sure you block it off well as well because chinchillas really do end up finding all the places you don't want them to go in. It's like they gravitate to those areas. You know you don't want your chinchilla to go down that area and they will constantly want to go down that area. It's just how they are. So yeah, there are five hazards. I'm sure there are a lot more hazards but they're my top five hazards. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative and if you have, give it a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching and goodbye for now.